Hey guys and welcome back to the Quotas Legacy channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use a tool called All Dupe to remove any duplicate files that may be present in your system. This is a very, very flexible tool. There are many, many, many use cases that you can use it for. For example, your system is cluttered with duplicate files over the years and you want to get rid of them, you can use it for that. Or if you just have a folder where you ended up with a lot of duplicates, um, let me just show you because I'm going to be using this tool on this data today to show you guys. So this folder here, it has a bunch of duplicate uh, images and it also has a bunch of images that are, well, okay, this one contains mostly duplicates, exact duplicates, but look at this one. So this one here is actually, if you look over here in the preview, you can see that there's a slight difference. So these are similar images not exact match they're similar images so i'm i can use this tool to delete these images i can use it to detect similar images and delete them so download the software okay i'm you can get the portable version or the installer version i'll leave the link in the description below okay so um what you want to do here is open up that software okay and let me show you how to use it. Now, what you want to do, I already have this folder added in here, vehicle data, but what you want to do is go here to add folder and just add whatever folder you want to. So um, let me go to search method now where we can configure how we want to search for images. So we can find duplicate files on the basis of their uh, properties you know, like name, extension, file size, etc., etc. We can find it on the basis of their names. Uh, you can have exact match or you can have, you know, 80% uh, match if you want to delete similar sounding file names. There's similar pictures, which you can either keep at 100% for exact matches, or in my case, I'm going to keep this at 90% because I want to delete similar images. Also, from personal experience, I recommend you don't go below 80 because then it starts giving you false duplicates, okay? Um, to completely unrelated images, it might detect them as, you know, a duplicate, okay? And for the comparison method, I highly recommend you keep p hash if you're looking for similar images, okay? Otherwise, if you're looking for exact matches, it doesn't really matter what you pick. p hash is good for similar images. Other than this, you can go for uh, similar audios. You know, 30 seconds is the segment size that it compares at a time. Then there's the percentage, how similar they, sh they should sound, etc. There's a whole bunch of options here. So really great. I'm going to use this one in this case because I want to delete similar and exact match images. OK, so we're done here with the settings. I'll go to source folders and I'm going to make sure this is selected then I'm going to click start search. This is going to take some time depending on how many um, files you have. Um, but yeah, this should be over soon. All right, we're done. So in total, 176 duplicates were found. We can sort by the, you know, highest number of duplicates. It, it creates these groups. Okay. You can enable the file preview option over here and it shows you these groups that are formed of similar images. Okay, and you can see I'm scrolling through it. You can see that uh, it has indeed, uh, you know, grouped similar images together. Okay, so yeah, pretty effective, right? Now, what you want to do is select the images that you want to delete. Okay, now obviously you're not going to do this manually, right? Unless you have a small number of images. So what you should do is come here to select. Okay. Now, uh, if you want to delete all files for some reason, you can do select all files. But what I recommend is either you do this one, select all file except the file with the shortest name, because um, chances are that's the one that's, you know, the original file. Or you can do this one, the one with uh, select all images except the one with the most megapixels. So you can retain the image with the highest quality. Okay, regardless, just do whatever you want. And then once you're done with that, you can click this button to process them. Okay, so yeah, click OK. You can do a bunch of other things, you know, like you could uh, send them to the recycle bin or copy them somewhere or move them somewhere. Um, but yeah, you can do what you want. So it has deleted 125 images.
okay so that's pretty cool this is how the tool works it's um quite useful and yeah hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial